Hello, in this video we're going to review the elasticity of substitution. This will give us a measure of the substitutability of inputs in the production process. Elasticity of substitution measures the sensitivity of the firm's capital labor ratio to changes in the price of labor to the price of capital ratio. The elasticity of substitution in an equation format can be thought of as the percentage change in the capital labor ratio, K divided by L, divided by the percentage change in the price of labor to price of capital ratio. I'm using W for the wage, so that's the price of labor, and R is the price of capital or just a rental rate of capital. K is just units of capital. And L equals units of labor. So the elasticity of substitution measures a percentage change in the capital labor ratio from a percentage change in the wage to rental rate ratio. Let's uh, simplify this a little bit. The numerator here, the percentage change in the capital labor ratio simplifies down to this expression. Change in the capital labor ratio divided by the capital labor ratio and we can also express the percentage change in the wage to rental rate ratio as follows. Hey, that looks like a little bit of a mess here. What I'm going to do, do is I'm going to multiply the numerator and denominator by the reciprocal down here. And if you do that, we're going to get something that looks like this now. And that is our elasticity of substitution. So you'll note that um, using calculus, we can write it like this, and one thing that will be useful in actually estimating or calculating this elasticity of substitution is to let the capital labor ratio, K divided by L, let's set that equal to Z, and then let's also let the wage to rental ratio equal V. So making our substitutions into this above equation, move down a little bit, the elasticity of substitution will simplify down to this more simpler expression. Now let's go to an example. Okay, we're going to start with a Cobb-Douglas production function where the quantity of output Q equals 2 times the square root of labor all multiplied by K units of capital. So again, our goal here is to find the elasticity of substitution. The way we're going to do this is we're going to get the marginal product of labor which will be given by this expression. Bring down the one-half in front so the two disappears and then one-half minus one 
leaves us L raised to the minus one half power. We just got K hanging around for the ride. And then the marginal product of capital. We're going to take the partial derivative of the production function with respect to capital. And you're just going to get two times the square root of or two times the square root of labor. When the firm is hiring the appropriate amount of inputs, this condition must hold. The marginal product of labor divided by the wage rate equals the marginal product of capital divided by the price of capital, R. Let's substitute our marginal products into this equation. So here we got the marginal product of labor divided by the wage and that's going to equal the marginal product of capital divided by the price of capital. Let's go ahead and simplify this up. So all I did here was I multiplied both sides through by the wage. So I got rid of this W over here. And now let's multiply, um, divide both sides through by L to the 1 half power. Let's sneak it up over here. And you're left with something like this. Simplifying the left hand side. We get K divided by L equals 2 times the wage divided by R, the rental rate. As we did before, let's let K divided by L equal Z. And let's let W divided by R equal V. We'll make these substitutions into our condition up above here. So let's let me do that over here. So we're going to get z equals 2 times v. Now we can use the elasticity of substitution formula. Let me go into it a clean sheet. So just rewriting, we got z equals 2v and our elasticity of substitution formula. was given by this expression. So we're going to take the derivative of this equation. So the derivative of z with respect to v is just 2. Okay. So we got the first part, the 2. We're going to multiply this by v, and then we're going to divide it by z. But what is z? z is nothing more than 2v. So I'm going to put 2v in for z. Now we're going to simplify this, and it just equals 1. So that is the elasticity of substitution for our Cobb-Douglas production function. And in fact, you'll find the elasticity of substitution always equals 1 for a Cobb-Douglas production function. And we can interpret this as follows. If the, the wage to rental ratio increased by 10%, then the capital labor ratio of the firm would also increase by 10%. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.